<laughs> this is David Lane, bodybuilder, gymshot athlete, and social media phenomenon. Think of me, but it's a slightly worse version of that. Like a little Matt Morcia. No, I mean like the supermarket little. Anyways, <laughs> he's in the UK for the Ryan Terry Classic, and seeing as he's been hassling me for months to get a workout in, today I'm finally gonna make his wish come true. The world's worst pre-workout. Is about to be? No, I'm joking, this is actually, I, I'm not a big pre-workout in the true sense of the term guy. Do you want to shut up, mate? You know? That's quite a, is that a big. I mean, I'm used to a creatine scoop, mate. It's quite a big I would scoop. do two huge scoops. 400 really. caffeine. I mean, how much have you done to, today? Should I have done two? If I just do that and drink it, is that you're quicker? fine as long as you. That's quicker. Is that quicker? We're training now. Do you know what I mean? I think I, it would be quicker, yeah, but I would definitely gulp some water down after so you don't get like liver kidney disease and pass out mid chest fly, you know? Okay. It's not good. We're doing chest flies now. You spoke very highly of flies. I was saying how I like no, experience I a lot of thickness That's if I do true. pressing. I took six months off. He's, I did flies what only. Saying, what he's saying is the opposite to what I actually said. And I just atrophied into oblivion. But we could do flies if you want. That's kind of a bit sad, but it's whatever. You're doing a push workout, yeah? I'm going to teach you how to do incline bench. It's going to be very educational. Take your notepad out. Don't do it. We're doing a push workout. I'm going to, I'm going to allow the inferior athlete to lead the session because it'll be an, it's a learning experience. Every day is a school day. So I want to see. I want to see what it takes to be this small, basically. You know what I mean? Basically, as a gladiator, which I actually am. What's the, what's the inverse of a gladiator? What do you call them? Weebs? What are they, yeah, you're, what are they you're called a in the show? He's, he is a prime contender. We're going to contend I'm a this incline gladiator. bench right here. And I'm going to show you how it's doing okay. in the arena, you know, back in the Roman era. Okay, I'm ready. You think about the Roman Empire a lot? <laughs> this is some awkwardly placed knurling. <laughs> Either way, Saturday or Sunday is fine. Yeah, Saturday or Sunday is fine. Well, let me in. I'm ready. There's no more reps left in this gym. We got to go to a new place. Why are we doing? It? Why are we doing incline bench for it? I personally believe that any incline press is an inferior version of a flat press. It's this, actually this is quite a steep incline, by the way. Carry on, sorry. I'd, go. I, I'd say flat is neutral. Incline, due to its elevated nature, definitionally is superior. But that's why you don't do it. But we're going to do it today. You're going to learn all about it. The reason I don't do it is because I believe, well, I don't believe it, it's a fact, that, that as, a, as a press gets more incline, it's, you just get more front delts, more front delt involved. Front delts look great. No, and then you don't. complement them with some rear delts. You got front two don't spheres don't on your shoulders. That's your, no, your side delts. Front delts do nothing. And they get touched constantly, like all the time, everything. How often do yours get touched? All the time, too much. How, where are you going with your grip? Were you quite narrow? I see a therapist about that. I, I, I went a little, I'm a little bit more narrow with that. It's just such a horrible movement. Just less pec. Dude, look at his front delts, they're like completely fatigued. <laughs> it's, just, it's just less pec and more like front delts. What's going on? It's just like a front delt press. Right, what's the plan here? Are you, are we shooting for some like, nice high juicy rep ranges? In the four to six ish rep range for like a few sets. Like a back off set, maybe at like 10 to 15 reps, and then move on to another movement. I've chosen the worst movement to go heavy on there. For incline breath. We got to do them pause. Have you got to do them with your hands not lined up? Because that is a, a, exactly. an absolute it's called, mess. It's called, that's an absolute mess. Look at his hands. It's called asymmetrical confusion. Look at his hands right now. That's why your left front delt is bigger than your right, mate. Do you know what I might do? This is how I, do you know how to counteract? If you've got a training partner that loves doing incline pressing, what are you doing? Just set up like that. <laughs> and you can just flat press. Oh, that's dangerous. No, I'm bonky. But you're holding it even. No, no, no. Left arm two inches in. <laughs> These gladiators are delicate nowadays. Can't even, <clears throat> things need to be nice and neat. It's horrible on my shoulder as well. The worst exercise ever. If your back's good now though, isn't it? Your back's good. Basically, yeah. I mean, I wouldn't go straight to like a deadlift max, but day to day I'm like satisfied. Yeah, yeah. Trampoline. That's actually too horrible on my shoulder. <sighs> uh, Tell me when you're ready I'll, I'll do that. This is the most awkward unrack height ever, by the way. Let's go. Nice. Push. Eight point five. 
I was thinking nine, 9.5. Go and try and unrack it at that height. That's the <laughs> worst height <laughs> ever. You, you just mean? have to low bar it, squat it up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's literally what it is. See if the mic picks up. If you hear like a squeaking, grinding noise, that's my left shoulder, by the way. You ready? I'm ready. Just so fucking December. Get over it. You are doing nothing. Uh, like, you, you, did, you didn't help at the all there. A little bit. That feel good. Zero help. Okay. Uh, no, 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 no. Oh, no. <laughs> That's a yeah. test of your sporting. That's another reason why incline press is a terrible movement, because the racking mechanism is so sketchy. <sighs> Four. Push, easy. <laughs> the disparity between my flat pressing, this is another reason why I don't like it, because I'm weak as The only reason you got five reps because of my lift off last time. You got like three to four yourself. Your lift off, that, that equaled like a minus rep, but I do another rep for that. Ooh. Like a far I'm reaching to get the bar. Am I gonna hit the mic? Tell me now, is this on the mic? Yeah, yeah. definitely is. Wait, am I gonna just kinda hold it there for a bit, I'll, I'm gonna walk over, I'm gonna take my yeah, time. Just doing this some isometric work. Um Okay, let's think about this now. <laughs> oh, I got a phone call actually. Just take the bar, you absolute <laughs> Three by eight of lavalier presses. I can see what you're, what you're doing. Foreseeing the future and being prolactic or pro prophylactic, whatever the, the word means. So when Dave Blade spots you, this is what you have to do. Squeeze right here, squeeze it. <laughs> All right, Larry Wheels, curl it up. There we go. That's not good enough. That's the spotter's fault, so you gotta do, you gotta store that. Just get rid of this shit, mate. Worst product ever. I'm saying, I reckon you'll be able to go heavy on this. Like, normally machine, flat benches. You're doing a warm up set, yeah? I gotta get used to this movement. I so this is interesting. See, after my first exercise, I don't do any other warm up sets. I'm just in for now. Neither on. do I, but I don't. Well, you are right movement. now. What do you mean? You literally are right I, now. This is a new movement, man. I'm in a new country. I'm not home. It's a new movement. It's a new machine. It's. Do you feel how soft this is? I need to acclimate. I need to adapt. You're gonna press it, you're gonna use that grip? No. I am gonna use that grip, no, Matthew. As a matter of fact, no, I not, am. Man. I think it's a very pleasant grip. My delts like it, my chest is contracted. Delt, I'm happy as so like I'm having the time workout. of my life. It's like a front delt workout. Dave, front delt laid. Why everything you do is front delt? You gotta tackle problems head on from the front. Proactive. Let's get out, right, let's get out of the way. What did you say just now? Prolactin. Prophylactic, proactive, <laughs> prolactin, prolapsion. <laughs> Why such a weird grip? I'm not doing that. There we go. Oh, you, uh, you can lift heavy on this, by the way. See, a flat press, it's just so more comfortable. Like, mechanically speaking, it's just a much more You like staying in the movement. comfort zone? Well, no, it's just, it just makes more like, sense. Like, you're just like, stay in the press, you're in this weird, unnatural position that's just hot, like, it's just horrible. You gotta slay the dragon. It's like someone's the taking a flat press village. and made it worse. Unbelievable. Good speed. Stop procrastinating, just get in, there we go. Yeah, oh, f <laughs> Let's think about this now. Let's be strategic. Let me do a set. No, let me do a no, set. I'll find the leverage Good point. Not. Come on. Boy, come on. <laughs> okay, nope. <laughs> nope. That was three reps from there. Two and a half to three reps, that was. Come on, go close grip. That's a stupid grip, man. Glutes came off. It doesn't count. It doesn't count. He's using leg drive, it's cheating. <laughs> Dude, you stop using your lats to support your... <laughs> do you do anything with integrity? Unbelievable. I did over double your number of reps. I've done like three sets of volume in one set. I'm done, I can just leave it. I, have, I need to do a few more sets. No, I'm not, I'm not in a rush. That was your idea to put that on as well. I'm not in a rush. Maybe there's something to the script. No, there isn't. That's nice. Gravity just hits different on this side of the Atlantic. Try I want to see. I want to see 28 to 36 reps. How many? You just did about six reps. 
How many reps did you just do? I'm being conservative. You won't be. I have laterals to do next. With five kgs, I need to be ready. Such a weird grip. Amazon Prime chest press. Jeff, Jeff's gonna sue us, be careful. <laughs> okay. It's hard training with someone that's much weaker than you because obviously there's lots of plate moving right. involved. Let's see, RP12. <laughs> it's all you. It's all you. Come on now. You got about 15 in you. Let's go. Okay, it's chest done, yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Appreciate yeah. the sphericality. Spherical. Is that a word? <laughs> Sphericality? Sphericality. Spherical. Mad how much bigger I am. I don't think the lens is wide enough. Do you see that? Do you see that front up? Machine yeah. natural ways. In Dave's favorite place. Right next to the female toilet. Oh, okay. Let's look at hemorrhoid cushion. Right, let's go, come on. <laughs> we did two chest movements, we're gonna do two shoulder movements, right? What are your thoughts on both of the shoulder movements being lateral raises or side delt focus? Seeing as that's the only part of your delt that actually matters. I think we should do front delt raises after this. Do you actually think that? I wouldn't surprise me at this point, but I don't think you, I don't think you no, mean No, well, okay, but what will be the other lateral movement other than this? Dumbbells? Like a cable or dumbbell or anything, yeah. A kneeling bench, like on a slight inclined bench, kneeling. That's fine, I, I might be a little tipsy and lean forward to hit that rear delt <laughs> a bit. <laughs> what would be your preference? Um, now, rear delts, that's, you would, I'd, we could, that's part of back day. We're not going to do that today. Is it? Yeah. Um, all right, well, we can do it with a key cable or something, like maybe one arm cable or like dumbbell. Would, after you, this. would you want to do a shoulder press, wouldn't that? No. Oh, that's good, yeah. No. Shoulder pressing is a waste of time. Why do you think it's a waste of time? Any, any kind of press, any chest press, your front delts are heavily involved. So doing a movement like a shoulder press where it's almost entirely front delts is just like, it's not good use of volume. Do you know what I'd like now? Some little hand thingies. Do you know what I mean? You would, yeah. So they just feel a bit subjective. I'll hold you. <laughs> Get away from me right now. Get the second angle. <laughs> Dude, look at this Apple log profile. Oh, oh shit. you got the new one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> What's the list of the other You might have seen something like that. You might have just noticed. The weight should come in earlier now, yeah. But more of it is resisted, yeah. Are you a machine mechanic? Yes. I used to work for Robocop. Look at my view quickly. Look at my view. Go a POV. Keep going, keep going. This is my view, mid set. Like the least motivating thing ever. Oh. Dave's Googling how to leave. <laughs> train, like train times from <laughs> just a Piccadilly. This is, in my opinion, not this particular, but just generally speaking, a lateral raised machine, one of the most valuable machines in terms of like, essential in terms of what it gives pillar. you that you can't get elsewhere. Do you know what I mean? Imagine a front delt version of this. You'd be loving it, wouldn't you? Oh, I'd be having time be on it my every life. day. Do you never set this? No. What do you mean no? Yeah. We got another, we got a whole other movement done? for laterals. Uh, you, you done, what have you done? Three sets? I've done three to four sets. No, you haven't done three to four, I'm you've done three sets. Burnt out. We're doing four sets. Hey. Do, you want, do you want to hurry up, do you know what I mean? Why is it every rep is like the last rep and he's still going? <laughs> it's the most misleading, I'm like. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> yeah. <like> that. <laughs> That's not even next size. What are you doing? Front out. Table lateral raises. Do you know what I think is better than a handle grip? Is this? Do you Just know hold why? it raw. Do you know why? Because here you hold it like this, yeah, and then it, then it, it, it encourages the that kind of movement, mm -hmm. which is like more side delt focus. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. <laughs> When this video comes out, both of the misfit cards, most both of the fights will have happened. What's your prediction? Predictions are that Tommy Fury wins, and as much as I don't want it to happen, Logan Paul wins. I'm hoping that Dylan Dennis like, chokes him out after he wins. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? Not that he dies, but he just gets choked out, you know what I mean? Yo, can you give me some space? <laughs> what? I'm just, uh, get out of my way. I'm gonna assert, assert the dominance. <laughs> what the fuck, <laughs> mate? This is actually not ideal for my finger, by the way. I have to hold it here. Do you want to moan anymore? <laughs> yeah, but he's a skier, could train side belt. No. <laughs> do you ever do it for tricep? I do it for front downs. Tricep push downs. <laughs> I go like this behind it. <laughs> Why don't you have a, uh, a ski uh, battle? <laughs> go on. Full push who workout. Full push workout only on a ski. 10 egg. calories, who can get it the quickest? Absolutely not. Oh, it's one cow, you f***ing me! I'm not gonna go up there. It's too high. <laughs> the world's longest <laughs> tricep rope ever. What the f 
It's like a five foot tricep bro. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Why are you doing triceps now? I am. Yeah, but why? We're not meant to. Because I want to. Matthew over here is Why am I going first, by the way? A, because I've been working hard this whole time and you've just been, Dave's just been doing it like, it's the most distracting workout partner ever. That's it, we're going <laughs> Because Matt has a front delt traumas or whatever else, maybe he's afraid, understandably so, he has PTSD from doing real free weight dips, like in the classical proper romanticized body. It's not a free so weight dip, there's no he weight. He is alting for a very controlled, very safe, very timid, very shy, very isolated and narrow range movement, such as this machine dip. None of that's making because the Because he's None in his comfort zone. It's gonna make the edit, because I actually have two SD cards and it's doing a dual record. I'm gonna get the footage. I actually like dips and dip variations. It's one of the few tricep movements where your elbow is like behind you when you're extending. Yeah. Oh, I, did, I did actual form, what are you doing? Actual. You've turned it into like a decline press, mate. What is that? Well, the way, it's a dip. It is Tuck the, your elbows. It is Tuck the your apex elbows. of decline presses. Tuck your elbows. Do it properly. I don't know. It feels pretty tough. It's not tough. You're literally doing this. Doing I have literally, I have, like a, I have blisters it, on my lats from like just a, how tough it was. Turn it into a decline fly. It's a dip. Full stack, mate. Yeah, do the stack. Now look at my yeah. elbows. This is it. This is a David Matt, Laid. Play. I had my this elbows. This is a David Laid dip. My elbows were screaming. And this is a Matt Morsey dip. Off. See that? See okay, the difference? Three. See the difference? Okay. Two. Three. What do you mean? I don't know about nine. Four. Now you were explaining before. Mm. Four. That's not true. Five. Okay, okay. Seven. Squeeze seven. it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Squeeze it. Two, six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Uh, <laughs> that wasn't, that was like 13. I think I, I, could, do, I, think I could do 10 reps. Tuck your elbows right sure. now. Press me down on my shoulder. I need to press you down. There we go. There we go, there we go. Get a nice range, get a nice range. Half reps, there you go. Two, five, right, three. <laughs> Let's go. Four, you're not even halfway yet. Five, range, come up all the way. There you go. Six. Seven. Come on. <laughs> I did 26 reps for the way. You did 16 divided by two. The elbows are still wide flat. Dude, I, I like having wide elbows. It gives me literally, good tendon development for my arm wrestling. We can talk about it on the bench. Ever. Well, you're into your arm wrestling, aren't you? It's just something that I just recreationally when I do beat with you Matthew all the time. That was mad, was it? Remember that? What's that? In LA when I beat you in arm wrestling. I don't remember that. That was mad. I really don't. What are you doing? Dude, I'm doing Why are you thing? undermining this work? Yes. You have any comments on my form? Let Matthew, my elbows aren't coming. tough enough. Let me come in, come in. I'm flaring too Let's much. Play a game. This game's called Guess Who I Am. Look at the medial, whatever, long brachioala, tibula, fibula, head contracting. It's working. Give me a thumb more right now. Thumb right now. More. Thumb more. Let's go. Don't be afraid. Come on. One, two, three, four. I declare a thumb war begin. No integrity. I'm ready. Ooh. Can't reach me, too long. Ah! That counts, how long have you got to hold him for? Three seconds. Three seconds? Yeah. See, I'll just suck you in there. Ah! Ah! Cheating, he lifted his elbows just like he does on the tricep extension, he's a cheater. Dominating, just winning everything, this is embarrassing. Me. And we are done. What are you doing? I think I could beat you. Even if you had that, I think I'll still beat you. It's kind of one to ten. The experience, why would you rate that workout? A seven. That's what Ethan said. You know seven. it's reasonable. You what know you it was a seven. You know it was if a seven. If I mean the, the, the whole experience, oh, not the just the workout. Okay, no, no. The experience in its whole, I'd say, was probably a four. But the workout bar was definitely, no, I'm kidding. It was good. It was like a nine or a ten. Yeah. Yeah, that's more accurate. That's more in keeping with. Uh, yeah, that was absolutely great. On, a, <laughs> on, a, on Just the, the spectrum, face and the voice, you can the feel spectrum, the authenticity. On the spectrum of workouts, that was great. Dave, thank you so much. It's been such a wonderful experience, as it always is. I'll see you again in like probably two or three years, at which point we'll do another workout. 
I'll beat you in a thumb war again. That gives you three I years. I don't think you can I'll give you at least 18 months to get a better at thumb warring. No. Training focus should be thumb wars and then just keeping your elbows tucked on tricep movements and eradicate, eradicating all front delt based movements from your split. What, what, what about flexing the tendons in my pinky and then like keeping my ankle tight? How does that work out for you? So you were a low blow. So you have to resort to my previous injuries to... When we have a, I was going to dig a low back, but my low back's probably worse than yours to be fair. I can't even do that. Right, we're done. Right, this is over.